This video is brought to you by Film Fusion. This is a Lumix G 25mm f1.7 lens, and it only costs $150. Could it be the best budget lens? That's what we're talking about today. Okay, so I just bought this lens two days ago, brand new on Amazon, and it got to my doorstep about an hour ago. And after testing it out on my camera, I decided to make a video about it because it is really good what's good about the lens that's probably the question that's in your head right now and because it has such a low f-stop number 1.7 it's able to let more light into the lens and that gives you a blurrier background as well as better quality images in nighttime and if you're thinking of buying this lens and great for you because it is amazing so if you're a beginner filmmaker this is one of the best lenses you can buy if you're using a panasonic camera now if we take off this cap here and the back of it you can see the glass is super high quality and it's 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 just good in general. The entire body is made of plastic, but it's $150, which is still great for this price. I mean, at least the back of it is metal, the the bracket that sticks onto the camera. You some 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 lens companies they they make them plastic, which is not good because then they just boop, boop. The focus ring is also really nice and smooth, which I love when I'm doing focus pulls. It's just nice and comfortable. A big thing that I would like to point out is the weight of the lens. It is incredibly light. It feels like it should be heavier, but I don't really care what what it feels like because I've seen the images it takes. They're really cool. One side note before you get into testing is that it comes here with a lens hood, so not bad. All right, let's start giving you some examples. All right, so we'll start off with our kit lens here that came with the camera. It's still really good. Um, the minimum f-stop here at 25 millimeters is f4.5. So we get some nice bouquet, but not as much as our new lens. So let's start off with our nice low light example for our kit lens. You know, we have some grain, but I will say the background blur is pretty nice. So just keep that one in mind. I'll do a side-by-side -side in a minute. Now if we remove this one, now, this is what we get. You can definitely see the difference in the bouquet behind it. Much more blurrier, just sharper in general. And I can also bring this up to about ISO 800 before it starts looking grainy. So this is, this is good. All right guys, that's about it. Now this lens looks great. I'm actually filming with it right now. I, it's everything I could wish for. I watched some reviews saying that there was some kind of delay in the focus ring and I'm not noticing that at all. So from now on when I'm filming these talking head shots, this is what I'm gonna be using. Kit lens is great as well. Check it out, it's, it's amazing. So is this, I'm leaving links to both of these lenses down in the link in the description below. You'll see a little Amazon link. And when you buy one of those, not only are you helping yourself out by getting an awesome lens, but you're also helping me out. And thank you to everyone who's bought merch because that money from the merch has helped me buy the lens to make awesome videos for y'all just like this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Dipper Studios.